Okay, let's continue on where we left off. Meanwhile, at the border of Alamigo. Oh man, I don't know about all of you, but this battle was long over two. Oh man. So, oh, we're playing as Hien! Great! So, there are still those who would stand before me, before Xenos. Interesting. The Warrior of Light has left Alliance Headquarters. Let's put an end to this here and now. Do you truly believe that possible? Then let us test the limits of this Garlean vessel. A formidable foe, but we have come too far to fall now. Soon I shall give the lie to man's indomitable spirit. You know, I really do like having voiceovers here in the middle of battle like this. I just don't see why they don't read out what they're saying here. Warrior of Light is still nowhere in sight. To be battered and beaten here? Claire would never let us hear the end of it. Fight and struggle if that is your wound, but you will not escape your fate. Oh, crap. Okay, that was my fault. And we are low on health here. Come on. Our fate is not for you to decide. Enough. You will learn your place. Thank you for the heals, Lees. Behold, a taste of my true power. <laughs> what? What is this sorcery? Look upon Ame no Habakiri and know the depths of your folly. Oh no, you don't! Please, no! What have you done? If he would bring all to bear, then so must we. Yeah, you go, Yugiri! Well done dispelling his phantoms. Now hurry, we must protect Lys. Still you choose to struggle against the inevitable. The Warrior of Light is but a few hundred yams away. We may be on the back foot, but it's not over yet. If we can at least hold out until Claire arrives, I'm sure we can turn this around. Okay, I learned my lesson from last time. Yeah. 
She comes, does she? Then I need not waste any more time with you. Magic with a guardian body. That's hardly fair. Still, he must be stopped, no matter the cost. Of light. It has been too long. No words to mark our reunion? <laughs> so be it. Equilibrium must be restored, and only your death will redress the balance. Okay, so here we are, one-on-one, -on -one, and this time we don't need to fight through a stinking dungeon to get to this guy. Technically, it's not the same guy, but you know what I mean. We will suffer your interference no longer. You think you know of the dark, but I will show you the true nature of our power. Oh gee, like we haven't heard that before. I mean, come on, he's already down to less than 70% at this point. potential of this vessel is transcendent without limit yeah so we know this old song and dance If nothing else, a little bit is a really good at portraying Xenos here. He's using all of his old techniques, so. With like a hint of darkness added in as well for good measure. You are strong, bringer of light. 
that her blessing will avail you not. Oh no, <laughs> not this again. Oh. Well, the swords don't seem as powerful as they were before. redress the balance to ensure the salvation of this star. You must fall. Impossible! How is it you have grown so powerful in the gift? Because you guys didn't take me seriously up till now. No matter. You may have bested La Habrea, but I will not be cast aside so easily. Come on. We're almost there. Seriously though, I kind of expected him to be tougher than this. I mean, if it was the real Xenos, he would be doing a lot more damage. So I don't think that Elidibus has, you know, full control over this body yet. Because if it was the real Xenos, Lys wouldn't have been able to break through his helmet that easily, and he would be putting up a better fight. Duty complete! Yes! Your mother chose her champion well. Yet, for all your strength, you will still fail. calls to you. Too late, alas. At last, I found you. Please, there's no cause for alarm. Though, I confess, this is not where I had intended to meet. 
place of our meeting is of no consequence, like the war you wage. Win or lose, the path you walk leads only to oblivion. The better path leads you here, to me. I have need of your strength. Who are you? You have to send me back now. No, I want to know who you are! Who are you? And why are you doing all of this? I'm afraid such questions will have to wait. We have precious little time, and your work is not yet done. Go to the Crystal Tower. I have left something for you near its base. It will serve as a beacon of sorts. One which I pray will help you on your journey. All you need do is find it. I will take care of the rest. Soon, we will throw wide the gates. And the path to the first will be yours to walk at last. You're awake. Thank heavens. What happened? Where is Xenos? Yeah, I want to know what happened. Do you recall the confrontation with Xenos? You were the first to come to the aid of Mistress Lise and the others on the front line. In the midst of your duel, it is said you faltered and that the Crown Prince seized the opportunity to deliver a mortal blow. Yet before his blade could find its mark, he was distracted by the arrival of a second adversary who bore you away from the battlefield and into the hands of our chirurgeons. Lest you wonder, he left before you awoke. As is his want. Estinian never was one for emotional farewells. Though Zeno bested all before him, the battle clearly took its toll, for he retreated shortly after your rescue. Seeing this, the remaining Imperial forces decided discretion was the better part of valor and pulled back, allowing us to re-establish our position. We have since received word of renewed unrest in the provinces, doubtless inspired by the efforts of the Aeorzean Alliance and our Far Eastern allies. Nor does the good news end there. We have also come into possession of intelligence suggesting unrest within the Imperial court. This would certainly explain why both the Emperor and Lord Xenos appear to have abandoned the fight. A long-awaited ray of hope in these dark times. Is Alize all right? What of the Scions? Huh. Well... Yeah, why not? We'll just go for the first one. Is Alize alright? Though I feel kind of bad singling her out. Yet to awake, 
I'm afraid. But please, concentrate on your own recovery for now. You have carried the hopes of some half-dozen nations, and we are all eternally grateful for your efforts. But no one is without their limits, not even you. Leave this fight to us, my friend. You have earned your rest. Ah, but before I forget, I was asked to deliver a message as soon as you awoke. A reminder that you are not alone, though many of your allies have fallen. When you are well and rested, you are to return home, where friends will be waiting for you. Now, if you will excuse me, I must return to the front. May we meet again soon, under happier circumstances. Oh boy. Yeah, I have no clue what happened there. Well, this is a most unexpected surprise. I thought you confined to bed. Oh, it's always good to see him. When I heard that you collapsed on the field of battle, I confess I feared the worst. But with you standing here before me, I see now that the reports of your defeat were greatly exaggerated. Thank the Fury. As long as we have you, Mistress Fay, history suggests we have a fighting chance. Speaking of fighting, you may be surprised to hear that the war's efforts can already be felt even here in Ishgard. In anticipation of a need for reinforcements, Ortael will soon be departing for the front lines with a convenience of our finest knights. I would advise you to stay until your strength had returned, but I know it would be an exercise in futility. Indeed, I suspect you have already decided on your next destination. Dark days lie ahead, of that I have no doubt, but the light of hope shall ever guide our steps so long as we have the will to press onward. And press onward we must. Farewell, my friend. I pray our next meeting will be under happier circumstances. The same thing that Sir Emmerich said, too. It's like they know that we're going to be leaving for a long time. You know that you'll always be welcome at House Fort Toms. Now away with you. I dare not keep you any longer. Oh, he's so sweet. I really want to see more of Lord Edmond in the future. He's just a great character. And I just really like it. Like, he kind of embraced them as family. And I just find that so sweet. We really need more of that.
by the twelve! I don't believe it! <laughs> I rushed back as soon as I could. I swear, my heart nearly stopped when I heard you'd collapse like the others. What in heaven's name is going on? Win or lose, the path you walk leads only to oblivion. Oh, well, that's helpful. And what else did he say? The better path leads to him? Hmm. <gasps> if his is the voice you've all been hearing, perhaps the others are with him. Sir Emmerich said the fighting had reached a stalemate, didn't he? But if that monster masquerade in a Xenos comes back? Sancred, Yustola, Marianche, Alphano, Alize. You're going to need all of them on your side to defeat him. And I forbid you from going to face him on your own. Do you hear me? So if you must leave, go and find the others. Bring them home. Oh, as for where to start, you said the stranger had left a beacon for you at the Crystal Tower, right? But how are you to find it, now that the tower has been sealed shut? There has to be a way. If anyone would know, it's Sid and the researchers of St. Coinax find. Don't you worry, we'll find that beacon for you. I pray you have good reason for abandoning the front. How could I remain there while the rumor that my son is possessed by a demon spreads like a sickness here at home? I will not be made to fight for the throne a second time. But what of you? Did you not tell me you would destroy Eorzea's champion with the ease that one might swat a fly? A minor setback. She will not escape me again. Where is your grandsire? I would have word with him. How should I know? Do you hide from each other's sight as well? I imagine he's doing what all Asians do. Hmm. He must have found a way to take advantage of this turmoil. Men are not pawns to be played with, Asian. You underestimate us at your peril. This war will not be decided by you and yours. Man must choose his own fate, and I, for my part, will do all within my power to see Galamal emerge victorious.
Pray forgive the intrusion, Your Radiance, but the requested preparations are now complete. We stand ready to begin production of Black Rose upon your order.